sponsored by Jeans Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the official dealership of Life in Alaska. Get the Fairbanks Evening News. Mike Schultz with you once again for a look at weather. You know, it wasn't that bad today, but there is some more good news on the horizon. We'll tell you about that in just a little bit. First of all, let's look at our photograph for tonight. This one's sent in by Jay Strong. We had a couple weeks ago, we had that really cool phenomena, and you can see the upside down rainbow, we called it, but it's called a circumzenithal uh, arc, which is too big of a word. Anyway, uh, if you have a photograph to send, by all means, send it to Mike Schultz at ktvf11.com, and that includes pictures of the geese over at uh, Creamers Fields. So let's see if we can get those, some of those coming in. Here's what's going on as far as the numbers out at the airport right now. A high today, 15. Right now, 14. Our normal high, 41 this time of year. Record high, 1997, 59 that day. 32 below in 1911. Sunrise exactly at 6.30 this morning. Sun sets this evening at 9.18, which gives us 14 hours and 47 minutes of daylight. A gain of seven more minutes from yesterday. What's going on in our satellite picture? Pretty good storm moving across southeast Alaska. But all in all, not too bad. There is a little bit of a small area of low pressure moving down from the north could give us a few snow showers tonight but after that things get better and better and I'll tell you about more about that in just a little bit what's going on across the rest of the state right now well for the most part pretty quiet weather pattern clouds across the uh, northern half of the state some rain shower activity over the around the uh, southeastern sections still uh, still some rain and snow showers around Kodiak and Cold Bay otherwise nice weather up and down the west coast and the north slope lower 48 weather night a lot to talk about a big storm making a lot of noise across much of the country affecting much of the country. In fact, uh, this storm is bringing damaging thunderstorms with hail and tornadoes and strong winds, and it's all going to be happening across Alabama and uh, Georgia tonight, and it's all showing up really well on the satellite picture. You can see the area of low pressure here, but the frontal system associated with it marching across parts of uh, Alabama and Georgia as we speak. There was a tornado this afternoon in Mississippi, unfortunately, that killed an individual, and you can see out to the west, things aren't looking too bad. Again, the jet stream, the main factor, bringing a lot of moisture across from the Pacific Ocean, and then helping to bring some cold air in across the Great Lakes and down, down to the south, of course, we'll have showers and thunderstorm activity. Well, back to Alaska for tomorrow. Things are a lot, a lot more calmer. Mostly sunny skies for Barrow, partly cloudy in Nome, and flurries expected in Fort Yukon. Here in the interior, we'll look at some morning flurries becoming partly cloudy by afternoon for Fairbanks and Heating. Over the uh, southeastern sections, mixed rain and snow for Juneau and Ketchikan. And over the southwest part of the state, it looks like uh, snow showers for Cold Bay and mostly sunny at Bethel and Kodiak. Not too bad in the Anchorage Bowl area. Also, look, lots of sunshine for for Anchorage, Homer, and Valdez. Okay, time once again for our kids' weather. All this week we've been talking with the kids from Badger Road Elementary School, but tonight we're going to hear from their teacher. Hi, I'm Mrs. Nicholson, and this is my fourth grade class here at Badger Road Elementary School. And we have a weather fact to share with you. Class, did you know that Yuma, Arizona is the sunniest place in the United States? They average 242 days a year of sunny days. And next week, we'll be visiting with the kids from Barnett Elementary School. Real quickly, a look at those road conditions, especially, uh, we'll, we'll talk about the road conditions and tell you, Joe, that things look pretty good heading on down the Richardson Highway. And then we'll also be looking at uh, nice weather elsewhere around the uh, interior. So not too bad. Nine degrees below tonight, a cloudy, a few scattered snow showers. Tomorrow's forecast, 23 degrees. Morning snow flurries becoming partly cloudy. And as far as our five-day outlook, as you can see here, looking at temperatures rising to near 40 degrees by next Wednesday. That's a relief. Five looking at temperatures rising nicely to the mid 30s overnight lows will also be rising from 10 degrees to around 12 degrees as the warmer air moves in and I think this might be the warmer air we've been looking for to come in and uh, make itself a regular resident <laughs>